had to get the Punisher shirt before they changed the logo up on us. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but your boy's been busy. I basically decided to switch from 1 12th scale figure collecting to 1 6th scale. So yeah, I got into uh, Hot Toys collecting actually. I ended up selling pretty much all of my Marvel Legends, the majority of my Black Series, and pretty much all of my G.I. Joe Classifieds. I just kind of got bored with uh, the 1 12th scale. Um, they're still putting out some, some new stuff that I may be interested in, but for the most part, I've really just been heavily focused on Hot Toys, and so the next batch of videos that I release are going to be on Hot Toys. But today's video, I'm really going to be just showing you guys the updated collection, where I'm at so far. Um, I've only been collecting Hot Toys for about a month now, so I don't have a huge collection, but it is big enough to show, and uh, it's, it's pretty much in a state that's presentable now because my room has been a mess for about the past two months with me selling all of these figures. Luckily, I was able to have uh, one person pretty much buy my entire collection, so that really helped out. I didn't have to deal with multiple people. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump into the room tour here so you guys can take a look at what we have. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so we're gonna start at this section and kind of work our way around. This is one of the latest things that I've picked up in terms of collectibles. It's the Dark Saber. Uh, Black Series. I really like this. The hilt especially is a sturdy construction. It feels really good in your hand. Uh, it lights up like right there. But anyways, if you guys want to see a review on that, let me know and I'll try to put something together. Um, this is just my desk basically. It's where I do most of my video editing. Going up toward the top, I did pick up some of these Black Series helmets. So we have a Death Watch helmet have the Mandalorian and Boba Fett and also the prototype Boba Fett Black Series there in the back. Jumping straight into the Hot Toys, one of the figures I think if you're into Star Wars, you definitely have to have a Darth Vader. So this is one of the first ones I picked up. This is the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back edition. I really like it. Um, he does have a light up feature with the lightsaber, but it doesn't work all that well. They do have some upgrades I may be looking into. And let me open the door here so you guys can get a better look without as much glare. But these little yellow lights right here, and I think there's one on the, yeah, there's one on the back side. Both of those light up when you hit the switch. Um, moving down, I have Captain Rex. This is the deluxe version of the 501st Trooper. This is the standard version. It's about $30 difference, I guess, between the two, but I didn't really use everything that comes with the deluxe version. I didn't want to uh, have two troopers looking like this holding the Gatling gun. One was fine with me, so I saved a couple of bucks and just picked up the standard version there. If I get any more, they may be the deluxe because they do also come with um, the, the uh, 332nd head for Sokus Trooper. But you get one of those with Rex, so I already had an extra one. So if I want two Ahsoka Troopers, I can I can still do that. But when Ahsoka comes out, I'll probably pick up some more of the Deluxe 501st. Moving down, we have a member of the Death Watch here. I need to come up with a better pose for him. That's kind of just me sticking him in the detail for right now. That's the pose I have him in. I need to look at his jetpack. If this piece comes off, I may take a piece from my Boba Fett with the missile launching up. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out. I want a more dynamic uh, pose for him, though. And then down here, I just have some boxes for now until some more figures come in. Now, moving over here, we have a little Grogu up top. He came with this Mandalorian set, and we have another Grogu right there, as you can see in the pram. This part inside there has a light that lights up as well. There's some little uh, Beskar uh, bars or whatever you want to call them in there. And again, I'm going to put Mando in a different pose. I just need to uh, figure out how I want it to be displayed, but just have him standing there like this for now. Going down to the second shelf, we have the Armorer, and she's holding the little hammer. She came with some pretty cool accessories. I may do a video on her, just kind of showing everything she comes with. Then in the back, we have Heavy Mando, 
cool figure. Um, he can he can be posed pretty well, but there's not that much mobility with him. Although I have seen videos where people basically remove the armor, modify the fat suit that's under the armor to give him a little bit more range. So that may be something I do eventually. Coming down here, we have Kylo Ren and Rey from The Rise of Skywalker. These are the only figures that I have from the sequels and the only two that I plan on getting. Um, the Rise of Skywalker, I actually kind of like the movie and it kind of holds a special place in my in my heart because me and my brother went to see it together and we really don't get to go see too many movies together. So every time I see these characters, I kind of think of uh, us going checking that movie out. We had a good time. So I like these figures. Again, if you want to see more on them, let me know and I can do a video. If my voice sounds a little bit scratchy. Forgive me. I am getting over a cold. So got a little bit of a sore throat still. Anyway, here is the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back edition of Boba Fett. One of my favorite characters and we'll talk more about him in a little bit. Um, really cool figure. Glad I have him. Again, he's one of those figures that I'm like, if you're a Star Wars fan and you get into collecting hot toys, this is probably one figure that you're going to want to get along with Darth Vader. Now moving into one of the newer figures that I got. This is actually part of a two pack, the Boba Fett two pack as seen in the Mandalorian. So you see him here with his uh, rifle on the back. I don't I forget the name of uh, what it's called or whatever, the stick. And then you get a busted up Stormtrooper helmet right there. A nice little uh, stand piece right there with grass and rocks for him to stand on. That came with it as well. The robes are nice. Um, he has a pistol on the side. He has some other accessories, I think, that are mainly just like hands and stuff. But, you know, again, if you guys want to see a more detailed video of this two-pack, let me know and I'll try to put that together. Haven't decided which figures I want to do videos on yet because some of them have been out for a while and, you know, YouTube is pretty much flooded with videos. So if I can add something different, I'll do it. And this is Boba in his armor you can see that it's weathered he has the little chain code coming up there showing the uh, lineage of the armor like we saw in the Mandalorian this is before the armor is repainted obviously as his jetpack the helmets removable pistol on the side again because of the material that's used it's really easy to pose this guy so one of my favorite figures so between these two right here it's definitely a two-pack worth getting even if you're not really into hot toys i would say if you're a boba fett fan pick those up so that's the display right there for my star wars coming over here give you a little sneak peek this is where i do the majority of my videos um this is the camera that i use in case anyone's interested it's a sony a6400 let's go ahead and close this door here and now we're going to move over to the Marvel side. So I have a Marvel light box, which I just picked up. Uh, this picture here was actually a birthday gift from one of my best friends. So shout out to Terrence and Jesse for this. I also have the War Machine helmet here. This is the Marvel Legends War Machine. So that's also Marvel Legends. But moving into the hot toys, I had to get this guy. Okay, Punisher War Machine one of the most awesome hot toys i think they've ever released that at least that i have so far it's one of my favorites the head sculpt is really nice i may end up doing a video on this guy let me open the door so we can get rid of some of that glare but yeah so the eyes light up red the effect pieces will come off if you want uh he has some little attachments on his arms that also come off but uh yeah just pretty much overall an awesome figure So moving down now, we have the upgraded suit. Is that right? The upgraded suit? Yeah. I always have to think about it when it comes to looking at Spider-Man suits because, you know, from the video game, you have the advanced suit, the upgraded suit, the tech suit, all these different suits. But this, yeah, it's the upgraded suit from Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. Mysterio is actually a figure that surprised me. I like him a lot more than I thought I would. They did great work on the cape 
and the effect pieces and everything. It also comes with a head sculpt, so you can switch that out with the fishbowl. Moving down, we have my man Miles Morales from the PS4, PS5 video game. He has the little cat on his back, Spider-Man the cat. You can see him right there. And he's wearing his little cap. That comes off along with the scarf and the leg warmers there, so you can display him in a variety of different ways. I just have him kind of standing static for now until I decide what kind of a pose I want to put him in. Down here, I don't have to tell you what this is. It's iconic. It's your boy, Tony Stark, doing the snap, the I Am Iron Man snap, but also costing him his life. Moving over here, we have the Mark 85. This is the clean version, although there is some battle damage that you can see like right there there's a few scuff marks which i i like that they added that so it's not too clean you know because iron man is obviously wearing this armor he's in battle so it's not going to be pristine but it's a lot cleaner than the battle damage version again he has some light up features on his chest the arc reactor lights up his hands will light up his eyes light up toys wonderland actually offers a service through some third party where you can send your mark 85 off and get an upgrade to the light. So you get brighter LEDs, more LEDs, because this piece on his back actually does not include LEDs, but you can send it off to them and they'll upgrade it. Next up, we have the man that really started me on collecting hot toys because I couldn't find a version of in-game cap that I really liked. I kept going back looking at the hot toys version and ultimately that led me to start collecting hot toys because the head sculpt, is amazing you can see the uh chain mail on the on the uh chest he has the shield milner he also comes with another head sculpt where he's wearing the mask he comes with a broken shield and also some different hands and stuff that you can uh swap out so definitely a figure i'm glad i picked up down here we have the black and gold suit spider-man i have the Edith the glasses on them though those actually came with the upgraded suit version but I just have him posed like this for now I'm waiting on one more spider-man figure to come in and I'll actually be putting the mass head on this and putting the head sculpt on the other version that I'm about to get and finally we have stealth suit spidey here with the molten man base this is the deluxe version so I have it set right now so that it kind of flickers on and off and I I actually have it wired up I bought this thing on Amazon that allows you to convert it from battery operated to able to be plugged in so that's what we have working right there and again this is kind of what my Marvel collection looks like for right now and going back over to the Star Wars section. And so basically what I'm doing right now is filling out these details. I still have a couple of figures that I can add in. I think two is probably the maximum that I want to do. I do have three there, so I make an exception kind of for the troopers because you want them to be flanked. But I really like the look of one to two pieces per shelf. I think anything more than three is just kind of overdoing it. So the same with this section here. Still have a little bit of room. I'm thinking about getting rescue so I could pose her up next to Iron Man. And like I said, another Spider-Man figure's on the way. And I'll be adding in some more figures in this area. So over on this wall, I still have my Infinity Wars poster, my favorite movie. We have your boy Grogu up here. <laughs> then we have the Marvel Legends Vulture. Then I just have my Hot Toys boxes, at least some of them displayed right there. These are pretty much all of the Marvel Legends and uh, Black Series figures that I have remaining down here. I also have some Gears of War, some Halo, and just the box. I have these guys here. Spider-Verse, this is the uh, Mafex comic version of Spider-Man, and then the Mafex Black Panther. Rogue One Black Series couple of more Marvel Legends, uh, some Halo figures, one of my favorite games. And the, the G.I. Joe boxes are pretty much empty because when I sold my collection, the person I sold it to, 
uh, wanted them loose, so I still just need to kind of get rid of these boxes. I have some piled up over there as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So if there's anything in the collection that I have so far that you want to see a closer look of, let me know in the comments and I'll try to make that happen. Otherwise, I'm just going to pick maybe one or two figures to go ahead and do a review on and uh, figure out some different ideas for some other videos. But yeah, that's pretty much where I've been, what I've been up to collecting hot toys a little bit over 20 in one month. I'll probably do a video about collecting hot toys and the differences and things that I've kind of picked up so far because there is, you know, kind of a different process to collecting hot toys. If you're familiar with Marvel Legends and Black Series, collecting six scale figures is a different world basically. So thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for your support. More content is coming and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. What's this chair is squeaky as hell, bro. I need to get a new chair. This I can't even record a video because this chair is squeaking.